Hi, I'm Jenny Lynn, creator of Fusion Mineral Paint. If you're new to Fusion, I want to show you how quick and easy it is to make over a piece just like this that you probably already have at home with just a little bit of TSP cleaning and Fusion Mineral Paint. It's quick, it's easy, amazing coverage, and you can make anything old look new again. I found this piece at the thrift store, it cost me $25, and I know that by a little bit of cleaning and some paint, I can probably sell it for three times what I paid for it. Whether you're a furniture flipper or you're just upcycling items in your home, Fusion Mineral Paint is the go-to DIY paint for thousands around the world. Fusion is available in over 30 countries worldwide. So check out our where to buy section to find out your nearest dealer. All right, so let's get started. All we need to do is clean our piece to get started. That is the most important thing. And we have a beautiful TSP alternative. It's an organic degreaser. And it's so important to clean your piece because you have no idea what kind of grease or dirt is on there. So for the paint to have really excellent adhesion, we wanna make sure that it's a super clean piece. So getting started with our TSP, all you have to do is grab one capful of the TSP solution and put it into 500 milliliters of water or one pint of water. We are going to give it a quick little stir around there. And this is a phosphate free degreaser, which is awesome. Very eco-friendly and organic. So all you need to do is wipe it down so you can remove any of the dirt that is on there. You can see the little dirt right on here. We're gonna get that off. So a quick wipe down should take you just a couple of minutes to clean your piece. There we go. Really quick and easy and simple. Usually in the edges, you'll have a lot of buildup of dirt and dust. So make sure you get in there as well. Okay. I finished cleaning with my TSP alternative. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the hardware. This hardware is actually a really cool style, even though it's quite traditional. I'm probably gonna paint it with one of our metallics. So I'm gonna take it off, clean it, and save it for later. And look at all that dirt in there. Let's clean that with that TSP. There we go, excellent. Now when you're working with a super glossy piece like this, see all that shine? What you wanna do is just knock back that sheen a little bit by using a fine grit, to medium to fine grit, around 220 is the perfect uh, sort of grit. And all you wanna do is just knock the sheen back. So we're not gonna spend much time sanding. If your piece is already a dull finish, you don't need to do any sanding at all. But a piece like this would need about three to five minutes maximum. So what you're trying to do is basically take that sheen and knock it back. See how dull that looks now? That's all we're trying to do. You don't need to get a power sander out. The reason why we clean our pieces first before sanding is so that we're not sanding in any grease or grime or ideally wax into the piece. I finished my lightning speed fast sanding and I'm just cleaning off the dust with the TSP alternative because we don't wanna have any of that left behind for when we paint. And as you can see, it was super quick and easy to do that very light scuff sand. I think I spent under two minutes doing the sand overall. Okay, we are ready to start painting. So now my very light sand is finished. I cleaned it off again with TSP Alternative. And overall, my prep took me under five minutes to clean and give a very light scuff sand. And again, only scuff sand if it's super shiny and glossy. Otherwise, you don't need to. One of the wonderful things about Fusion Mineral Paint is that it has a built-in top coat using our very own proprietary resin. It's incredibly durable. So really, all you need to do is clean your piece, grab your favorite color, a brush, and start painting. I'm gonna use eucalyptus here. I love this color because it's a mid-tone 
has excellent coverage. It's that really popular sage green right now that's all over the farmhouse decor. And it's also great for modern decor as well. Scandinavian, just super, super beautiful. And did I mention it has amazing coverage? All right, so let's get started. When choosing a brush, you'll want to pick a brush that's appropriate to the size of your piece. So it's a medium sized piece. I'm going to use a medium sized brush and it'll help to get into these little corners and edges too. But I'll give you a little bonus tip on this brush in a few minutes. So what we want to do is dip our brush about halfway into the bristle and then knock off the excess. Now, if you have a spare container to pour your paint into, that is a great tip because that means it'll keep your paint in excellent condition without being contaminated, brushing on and putting it back in. So go ahead and use a spare container if you have it. I am gonna work right from this container here and let's get started on the front. Look at this beautiful, beautiful coverage. So you can get right in there to all those corners and details with the paint. And you're probably going to need about two coats for full coverage. So don't worry about um, not getting full coverage on that first coat. The key to not seeing brush strokes is not using too much paint. So see over here, I put a lot of paint on there. We don't want to see that much. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to keep using the paint and take away that excess. So I'm going to grab that and use it somewhere else. You really don't need much paint. A little goes a long way. In fact, this one pint of paint will probably paint about six of these side tables. So a little goes really, really far. There we go. And then just give a nice little smooth from end to end coat. Try and avoid doing anything like this. We don't want to have brush strokes in the middle of our piece. So again, nice long from end to end. You can fill in any little areas there. And don't worry if your first coat, you get a couple of streaks and you can see that totally fine. The second coat covers it beautifully. There we go. We're gonna wanna give this about one to two hours to dry. When it's dry then, you can go ahead and add a second coat. I've done one coat on here and as you can see it is dry to the touch. It's been about 45 minutes. I like to give it an hour or two if you can. In the meantime, while you're not painting, if you can put your brush into some plastic with some paint on it and close it and not let any air get to it, that is going to keep your brush from drying out. So it's just a little tip. You can use saran wrap or anything. This just happens to be a plastic package from something that I had lying around and then your paint's not going to dry in your brush. So we're good to go with our second coat here. Gonna dip in again, and what you're gonna see is an amazing transformation from one coat to two coats. You're gonna get beautiful, beautiful solid coverage here. With any of our mid-tone to dark colors, you can expect to have one to two coats for full coverage. And for our lighter colors, you're looking at about anywhere from one, two to maximum three to four coats depending on the base color as well. And this brush that I'm using is really inexpensive. It is about $15 and it's one of our beautiful Stahlmeister brushes. Very inexpensive. You don't have to spend a fortune to make something beautiful. But investing in good quality tools, I will always recommend. You'll notice on the top here, there's an area that looks a little bit more transparent and thin, and that's just where I applied the paint a little bit thinner. This is totally normal and to be expected with your first coat. But when you put your second coat on, you're gonna get full solid coverage. So don't panic if you're putting on your first coat and you don't have full even coverage all over. It's better to do two thinner coats so that you can avoid brush strokes and get a beautiful finish with two coats. And again, you'll want to finish off by going end to end to make sure there's no start and stop marks.
So as you can see, the coverage is absolutely incredible. This is our eucalyptus mid-tone gray color with a hint of that green. It's super beautiful. I'm gonna finish my second coat and then we'll talk about how to maintain it for long wear. I applied two coats of our eucalyptus, let an hour and a half to two hours dry between coats. I'm here the next day and it looks so good. It's a beautiful, smooth, matte finish. Fusion has a built-in top coat, so I don't need to add anything more to this. Unless I wanted to increase the sheen, I could add a furniture wax, I could add stain and finishing oil. Your options are limitless. All right, we're gonna do something a little bit fun here. We're gonna actually paint the hardware. It's amazing what you can do with Fusion Door Paint. You can paint plastic, metal, you name it. So we have all these beautiful metallic colors. This is our bronze. All I did to prep the hardware was I cleaned it. Now I really love this style of hardware because it really suits the beautiful lines of this piece. So I'm gonna keep this particular hardware. Otherwise, you can also change it out for a whole new look. But for this piece, I'm keeping it. With this metallic, it shows off beautiful mica pigments. That's what makes our metallic so incredibly unique. Now using a little artist brush, I'm just going to apply the bronze here and you're gonna wanna give it an hour or so to dry. If you need a second coat, you can go ahead. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the gold. So it's a great way to personalize your hardware, change the look of it, upcycle it. Hardware can be really expensive, so just adding a coat of paint to it, you can totally reuse it. I love how beautiful this hardware looks. It's giving this piece a whole new look. It looks so fresh and fun, but I really, really, really wanna showcase these lines. I am seeing beautiful detail, and I wanna add some distressing. I wasn't planning on it, but now that I see it like this, I wanna go for it. So we're gonna take our continuous spray water mister and a really fine sanding sponge and just give it a little light distress. Since Fusion Mineral Paint is so durable, adding just a little bit of water to sort of reactivate the paint within the first sort of 24 hours is a good idea to help your distressing. It also makes your distressing look even more natural. So when you're distressing, you kinda of wanna hit these high edges areas where you would typically have wear and tear, especially around the handles and these beautiful details here. So you can really see the beautiful undercolor coming through. So I'm just gonna do that a little bit, kind of all over and really accentuate and highlight this piece. Around the curves of the legs. Maybe pop out this drawer a little bit. Do the edges along here. There we go. It really just shows off all those beautiful details. As you're distressing, I always recommend having a spare cloth around because you'll notice that the paint kind of gets a little bit um, watery and you really truly can't see your distressing. So you just kind of wipe back as you work with it because you don't want to over distress either. It's just about a fine amount in just the right areas. Look at that. I mean, that just shows off all these beautiful curves and edges. Ooh, I knew I wanted to distress it. As soon as it's not fully painted, I was like, let's show off these details. And that's how easy it is to paint it beautiful with Fusion Mineral Paint. Don't be intimidated, you can do it, and we are here to help you every step of the way. Be sure to check out our Facebook group called Paint It Beautiful with over 300,000 members. You can go and ask questions on step-by-step -step process or just simply for inspiration. You can also check out our beautiful Instagram page with tons of inspiration there, or also hop over to our website where we have lots of blogs. We're here to inspire and educate and help you paint it beautiful. Grab your favorite color and get started today.